Today I am in Riga at the annual BT1 exhibition, which attracts a lot of car manufacturers, companies, clubs, all of whom have gathered here to show their works of art. It's no secret that for them, cars are a part of their life. And we'll also talk to the Lithuanian representatives, who are here in large numbers, and find out what it feels like to be a real petrol head. We are the Hot Road Club, a club of fans of different pimped out cars for petrol heads. Firstly, that represents all the car culture. And secondly, our very strong friendship, understanding, and mutual help. The interesting thing is that everyone here has their own charisma. Everyone is complex in their own character. But for some reason, in this place, we all are united. And we become one fist, one family. Officially, this bunch is 20 years old. In 20 years, we have done things. Some cars have changed, some have stayed the same. We're just improving them and our family is growing. We try to participate as much as possible in events in Lithuania. Now, what's most interesting is that the number of events all over Lithuania has increased tremendously. And we're amazed and at the same time, we're really happy with this fact. Now, we just need to find the time to participate. We want to attract people. We are now living in the age of computers, the internet, and people spend most of their time at home in front of a computer screen. And these things, the smell of petrol, the sound of turning wheels, draw people out. That's what we want, to draw people out to come see us. This car has been completely modified, fully customized. When I bought it, there was almost nothing left of it. So I had to decide whether to restore it to the original condition or to add something of my own. So I tried to add something of my own and those decisions did not go unnoticed. In Germany, at the Tuning World Exhibition in 2019, this car was one of the 24 best in Europe. Those unique solutions include an air chassis, which is unique because it's handmade. You can't just buy it. Then there is the interior with an old school seat, an American seat shortened by 40 centimeters and made seamless. It's also equipped with a very rare thing, an air conditioner filled with water, which is fully restored and functioning. I have not seen one of these here. Maybe one person has one, but I am very glad that I got it. The most frequent questions people ask about it are how many years it took to make it and how much it cost. I answer four years of my life. How this car can be modified. Either you turn it into a perfect car or you make it kitsch like the gypsy version. So you can spend a lot of money in it, work hard with it, but everybody will pass by like nothing. On the other hand, when working with it, you put your soul in it. Now you can see what's going on around the car. I see and feel everything through the reaction of people, through their energy. And that evaluation, I think, gives a much greater impetus to other projects than the decisions of two or three judges. For me, for example, the emotions of people, the emotions this project evokes in them is a much bigger prize.
It was the dream of my life, the childhood dream, where the 33 or 34 skyline, it was my dream. And finally, I became the owner of one. It was the first love as I grew up in the fast, furious times. I was a fan of Paul Walker. If it was not for Hot Road and Paul Walker, I wouldn't be here with this car. As it was they who got me, not just Paul Walker, but they got me into this whole thing. I made this car not for sale, but for myself. It is my reflection. The counter has been off since day one. I have been planning for four years whether or not to add interference in the bodywork. The moment has come, that's it, and I'm doing it. It's not like I accomplished everything during the first year and that's it. For example, you miss one year and do nothing, and you can see that the car is starting to stagnate a bit. And if you do nothing with it for a long time, you start thinking about something new. Don't be lazy during the winter. Go to the garage, do one thing or another, everyone has their own taste. Of course, maybe pay a little attention to those trends, but don't let yourself forget about it. We have brought hot rod cars to this exhibition, one of the biggest in the Baltic states, to show and introduce to the Latvian community, to the Latvian people, a part of the American subculture, namely hot rod cars. Because we are slowly making them public, we are explaining them. We are showing more and more of these cars. More and more people are becoming enthusiastic. People are becoming less afraid of these cars. We want to demonstrate these cars to the Baltic countries, to bring class to the cities, to show that we really have them, what they are, what kind of cars they are, how they are made. Hot rod cars have always been a symbol of the rockabilly era in America, I guess. It was a symbol of resistance to the system. Probably it was music, it was rock and roll, it was the hot rod car. And as we all know, it was a movement to resist the system, to resist the norms, to resist the rules. That is the truest expression of freedom and independence. Hot rod cars never stood in front of the police. They ran away from the police all the time. They ignored the police all the time. I wish they would do the same now. When I talk like this, don't blame me, uh I know I'm bad with it Go against a goat, that's bad business All of y'all are jokes so sad with it To me, you're just a ghost, don't get mad with me Just It's in my Gotta get Already Not selling my You wanna Y'all moving Ready to Whoa I hope you found it interesting, and we will definitely visit not only this exhibition in the future, but also others' exhibitions. Please comment on what you have found interesting and relevant for you, perhaps what you would like to see less or more of. We are growing, maturing, improving, and I would like to wish the whole community the same. Keep moving forward. See ya. Bye.